An explosion has rocked a military base in Cyprus, blowing up a store of confiscated Iranian weapons. At least 12 people have been killed, including the commander of the Cypriot Navy. The munitions were Iranian weapons taken from a vessel heading to Syria two years ago. The country's defense minister and the head of the army have both resigned. Well, Nicosia witnessed a huge rally on Monday night. Tens of thousands of Cypriots from around the country gathered outside Presidential Palace to call for the resignation of President Christafios. Here is more. Things are getting hot in Cyprus, and it's not just the summer heat this year. Power outages throughout the Republic have become a daily occurrence since the fatal blast that devastated a naval base last week, taking out the nearby electricity generator. With water shortages next in line as the power supply to local desalination plants has been disrupted. But the political temperature has been matching the summer heat since late last week, sparked by the seemingly spontaneous combustion as 10,000 protesters gathered in the capital to mourn the 13 deaths caused by the blast and angrily calling for retribution, starting with the president. One week after the blast and the mood of simmering anger and popular protest show no signs of abating. Quite the contrary, in fact, with growing calls for the president to resign or at least form some kind of national unity government. So, with headlines like Betray running the country's largest English language newspaper, where are we all heading? It's impossible to tell. I think it really is impossible to tell. Um, the government seems to be at least one step behind public opinion throughout the week. And it, it carries on this way. Nobody knows what's going to happen. It's, it's tempting to say that he might resign, he might not resign. It's never happened before. I think we're all gone into territory we've never been to. And um, the extent of, the pub, of, of public opinion, he, the government and the president particularly, has lost touch with that. He might still catch up, one never knows. At least his political party, Communist Akul, believes he will, stressing that he's already ordered civil and criminal investigations. One week on from the blast and the presidential palace is again the target for protesters, not prepared to wait for those investigations. They want resignations and they want them now. They had two straight away and hours before this huge gathering they got a third, the foreign minister in what may prove to be an ever lengthening list of politicians backing away from the head of state. Disclosures in the media have painted a picture of inaction and inefficiency, despite repeated warnings that the weapons seized back in January 2009 posed a serious threat if they were left unprotected from the heat and other elements in their shipping containers at the naval base. The palace is set to remain centre stage as tension continues to rise among a population furious at a disaster that quite simply could and should have been avoided. They want action. Now the heat is on the government, and in particular, its president. Roderick Pratt, Press TV, Nicosia.